In this video, I wanna show you a tool that will save you a massive amount of time when it comes to editing your talking head videos. So as somebody who has been creating talking head videos for years, I can tell you from personal experience that it is very annoying and time consuming to chop up your dialogue. So I'm sure you've gone through this as well. That's probably why you're watching this video. You've gone through, you've shot your video, and there are sections where you take pauses or you take breaks or you make a mistake as we all do. And so there is a significant amount of your editing time where you're just going through section by section, sentence by sentence, and you're cutting once you have the end of a sentence. And then you move forward to when you begin again and you cut. And you're doing that for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, depending on how long your video actually is. Well, today I wanted to show you a tool that I've been using for a while now that goes through automatically cuts up all of the quiet or silent sections of your video so that you can have them removed automatically. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at how it works. Okay, so typically what I would do if I was going to be editing was I would, you know, open up my project in Premiere, drag in all the files, and then I would just start cutting away at all of the individual pauses or breaks within my talking head video. Instead, what I'm going to do is open up the Recut app and let's see, we'll go ahead and take that out of full screen because we don't need that to be completely full screen at the moment. There we go. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to drag our video footage in here. Now, for most people, this is going to be it. You're gonna be able to just work within this, uh, you know, your single video file within, you know, your audio file is just kind of atta attached and that works just fine. But in my case, I actually have my audio recorded separately, and that's because I use a capture device and I've got just kind of a little bit of a different setup. But what that means is that the first thing I have to do is go in here and I need to start uh, aligning my audio to fit properly. And so this is pretty easy. What I typically do when I am, oops, what I need to do, change just from segments to clips. But what I typically do is I give myself a marker where I clap I didn't do that this time. I had just completely forgotten, uh, but it's usually pretty easy. So uh, what I do is I just try to find a place that looks fairly unique uh, inside where the wavelengths match up. And then I just mega zoom in. I zoom all the way in and then I try to figure out where those different pieces line up. As we can see, that looks like a pretty good spot to do that. And so now all I have to do is just make sure that I've got those as aligned as I possibly can. What I always find is that they're just like a, like a smidge off, but they're totally fine. They line up perfectly. The audio appears perfectly synced once I actually take this into Premiere. Okay, then all I have to do is go ahead and zoom this out. And one of the things that you'll notice now that I've got my audio, you know, manually synced is that there's these red sections in here, right? And so what the software is doing is it's automatically detecting which sections are supposed to be silent. And it's just applying cuts there. Now I've already gone through here and I have fine tuned these to fit for my specific setup, right? Now what you can do is just have it automatically detect and it will do a pretty good job. But one of the things I've noticed that when you do auto, for my liking, it leaves a little bit too much silence on the tail ends of the portions where I'm speaking. And so what that means is that in between two sentences where there's a cut, there'll be just a little bit of a pause. So I have fine tuned mine to lower the threshold a little bit. So it cuts a little bit more in and it has a little bit less of a fade, um, which would be the padding. So you can go through here and you can uh, kind of fine tune these to fit. If you're doing a pretty quick rough cut, you can just click auto and it's going to go in here and detect all those silent moments and it's going to cut those out. You can also do sections if you want to. I don't really mess with that. And then the really cool thing about this is that you're able to just go in and export to whichever native software that you're using. As you can see it, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, even ScreenFlow if you're if you're using ScreenFlow, which I, I use that in the past a little bit. I'm currently working in Premiere. As you can see, 
you can uh, export it to whichever type of software you're using. So we're just gonna click export, go ahead and save this just within my project. There we go. And it just instantly exports. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna pop on op uh, over to Premiere. Mm -hmm. But Tidge, I've been working on too many websites. Uh, okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're going to import it into that folder. And what you're gonna see here is it's, is it's going to not only import um, the pieces, it's going to import a project that we can work with as well. So I'll give that a second and let that import. Okay, there we go. It looks like it finished. And so what it's done within my footage folder is it has the MP4, which is just the video file, and it's got the WAV file, which is that separate audio track. As we remembered, I separate, I uh, record my audio separately and then sync them. What I can do is open up this project and as you'll be able to see, it's gone through here and it has cut out all of those silences. It has made all those cuts for me individually. This probably would have taken me 20 or 30 minutes on a longer video, but as we can see, all those cuts are already done. Now, it's not gonna cut out stuff that you uh, don't want. As you can see here, we've got some sections where I'm just kind of shuffling around and I'm get, getting ready to record. So you still have to go through here and cut out the mistakes you make, but the silence is being gone again, can save you 20, 30 minutes every single time you go through and you start your edit. So like I mentioned, it does work with DaVinci Resolve, it works with Final Cut Pro, and it works with Adobe Premiere, as well as a couple of others as well. I am not sponsored by them, but if you'd like to check out ReCut, I will leave a link in the description. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my free productivity app, which is called Raiderist. And if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.